18th. I can't believe this is the 18th Saturday Star Live that we've done. It's amazing. Um, yeah, excuse my arm. I just... <laughs> it's right in the wrong place. I walked into a... Um, store uh, a shoe cupboard storage that we've got in our house we went outside um to go and see something exciting and uh it was night time and um yeah it was totally pitch black and i just walked into it and gave myself a massive bruise on my arm so apologies for that i'm just going to tweak this a little bit because i think there we go can't see the top of my head that's so much better okay so, welcome everybody to the saturday style live my name is anne and i'm here to show you a brand new style if you are new to the Saturday style, then welcome, hello, it's so lovely to see you here. If you go into the description box of this video below, you'll be able to find a link to the um, lovely Facebook group that we've got where you can st share styles, ask for tips, ask for help. It's really, really lovely and it's a really nice little community on there. And also in the description box, you'll be able to find some links to some styles that I think you might like to know, like the very, very basic step-by-step -step Dutch braid tutorial, French braid tutorial, um, yeah, it's there for you. So if you have a little look in the description box of this video, you'll be able to find um, that. Also, um, I use a comb, people always ask me about my comb, and there's a link to that as well. Also, there's some big shout outs in there to all the people that did this last week's style, which was really, it was a lovely um, ribbon braid. So well done to all those people that did the ribbon braid, big shout out to you in the bottom. Now, I've stopped doing the um, gold star, because I had a couple of people saying to me that, quite rightly, we've all got different time zones. So some people don't actually watch this until they see it on the repeat catch up. So they're kind of already missed out by doing it. So I was thinking, yeah, that's right. Probably not the fairest thing to do. So I've taken that away. But anyway, congratulations to everybody that has already done it. It was, they're really lovely. And I know some people have really struggled with that ribbon braid. Um, and I think it's all about the tension that you're holding the braid. You need to hold it a lot more loosely because that ribbon that's going through, it's kind of having to do, it's having to work two times. And so when it's in this side, then it's in this side. If you've seen last week, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say this side and that side. Um, it's having to do two jobs. And if you're holding it too tightly, it's just having to go here and there and here and there. And that's what's kind of causing that like twist that it wants to do so the best thing to do is just like, hold it nice and loosely and then you won't get that twistiness um but like i said in that tutorial there is a very very basic version of that tutorial that's on my page so have one well, on my page on my channel so have a look for that and that will really help you because honestly the ribbon braid is not as difficult as you think it is and i think it's beautiful it's one of my favorites and i really would hope i really would like to think that you could be able to do it because I really want to help you all to be able to do these things. Um, so yeah, don't be put off. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. It's not as difficult as you think it is. Okay, so I've said who I am. Oh, so we're here every day, every Saturday at half past five. Here we are, half past five. And um, I post other videos, but this is, I come live every Saturday at half past five. I had my flu injection today, um, so I'm feeling a little bit groggy, but do you know what? I can still do hair. So I'm gonna still do it because I want to be here for you guys. I'm not gonna let you down. So um, I'm gonna just put my glasses on because I've seen a couple of things popping up as I've been chatting away. So I'm just gonna say hello, see who's here. So we've got um, Nicole. Hello, Nicole, how are you? I hope you're okay. I'm, now, I know there's a couple of Nicoles. Nicole, are you the Nicole that's getting married in December? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, hello to you. Hi, Caroline, how are you? We've got lovely sunshine where we are. Have you got, is it sunny where you are? Um, Rachel, good morning. Oh, and Rachel says I look beautiful. Thank you. I do try for you guys. <laughs> um, and Stacy, Hi, Stacey. I don't recognise your name on here before. So, Stacey, is this your first time watching live or is it just your first time commenting? I know that you, anybody can watch this live, but you can only actually... Oh! I've just seen a pop-up. Nika, I know I've seen you before from Australia. What are you watching at the moment then? Why are you up? I think we've got, there's a golf going on. Are you a, fan, a big golf fan? I can't think of any other um, big sporting event that would keep you up or are you just like out out? Have you just been out out and you're just now like, you know, getting ready to go to bed? So I know it is the middle of the night for you. So we've got Nicole all the way from Australia and then we've got Rachel all the way from, oh my gosh, it's gone out of my head again. It's that American state. Um, oh, it begins with an A. 
Arizona. Arizona. So we've got Arizona, we've got America, we've got Australia. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, so Stacey, your first live. Have you watched before, Stacey? Have you watched them, like, pre-recorded? Like, after they were live? Um, or is this your first time completely? So, anyway, I'm just interested to know how you kind of came about finding us. So, anyway, welcome, Stacey. It's so lovely to see you here. Um, Arizona, yeah. I don't know why I, can't, I just cannot make that word stay in my head. It's so strange, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I keep seeing this. Look at the size of this bruise. I'm really, really sorry about that. It's, ugh, it's a bit sore. I just walked right into a shoe cupboard the other day. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to show you a really cool style. Um, what was that? Just up late. So I thought I'd watch that. Oh, Nicole, I love it. That's so lovely. Nicole, do you ever post in our group? in our Facebook group. I'm not sure whether I've seen your name in the Facebook group or maybe you've got a different name in Facebook. Yes, for sure you're fine. You finally made braids make sense. Oh, Stacey, which ones? Which braids did I finally help you learn? I'd really, I'd be really interested to know which ones you found um, were easy to know. Um, so if you are watching live with us, if you could just give me a thumbs up, if you could just like that thumbs, like that thumbs button, if you could hit the thumbs up button, it would be really lovely because then it just helps YouTube to kind of send me to other people and this like pushes me into their notifications so all these people that are already subscribed it will just like bump it up a bit and then hopefully they'll come on and join us because the more the merrier it's so much nicer when we're all here together so yeah don't forget to hit the thumbs up and um, thank you to that person that just did really really lovely thank you oh the Dutch braid oh amazing well do you know what Stacey I'm going to do something today that if you're still getting to know it still getting to grips with it this is going to be you're going to really like this um so what i'm going to do to start off with is i'm going to lift her up slightly higher so you can see more of her face and her head okay i am going to start by doing a side parting let's go a bit higher here she is hello um so i'm going to do a side parting over here i'm going to go just to the arch of the brow. Now you can take this side parting however far over you want to. It's just personal taste. You know, you could start it way over here if you wanted. You could start it by the ear if you wanted. But I'm going to go for about here because for, my, for what I want to do and for the length of hair I've got, parting it just here is going to work really well for me. So I'm going to start there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just come over here and then take like a rectangular slice. So I've got a rectangular slice of hair now. Okay, so I just went across the back, just here. Even make that a bit neater, there we go. So I've just gone across the back and I've gone down the front and now I've got like a rectangular section. Can you see that? Nice rectangular section just here. And I'm just going to Swizzle it, just to keep it nice and safe for later. Okay, so swizzle that and I'm just going to clip it over here. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do now is I want to go, let me see if I can just tip your head lovely, hold on, hold on, whoop, there we go. Okay, so I've tipped her head, let me lift you up again so you can see her. Here we go. So the back of that parting, where I've got to here, this is the back of it, I just want to kind of come down from there, like so. So I'm doing like a diagonal parting from that line just there. Okay, just flick that over there. And now I'm going to just turn you around, lovely. And then I'm just going to go, I'm holding onto the hair like this, just want a very small section of hair, very, very small, just going around the back of her ear, just going around, nice and thin, I don't need too much. And I'm going to go to there, okay? So I've started by, whoops, taking that parting from this that rectangular piece I did to begin with, I've just gone from there. I just think it looks neat if they sort of marry up with each other. So then this parting then sort of continues down, but then I've then taken this slice from around the face, around the, um, the side of the face. It's all dependent on the thickness of your daughter's hair really, okay, and what you're hoping to get out of it because I'm going to do a little bit of a cheat, okay, a bit of a cheat braid. 
Now, because I want to keep this part of her hair out of the way, I'm going to use one of these, it's an invisible bubble, okay? And the reason I'm going to use the invisible bubble is because this is going to be a down style. So it's not really a style for school, but you could, well, so, you know, lots of children do with their hair down for school. I, I don't, because um, I get worried about little visitors. Um, and also for sports, and it's just easy when it's just out of the way, isn't it? I know myself, like, I know my hair's down, but that's because it's, like, freshly washed and it's nice and clean. Um, but, I mean, ugh, it's already kind of, I'm flicking it all over the place. Um, so at school it's easy when it's tied up, isn't it? But, so you can have this as a down style, but I will show you how you can turn it into an up style too. But I'm using the invisible bubble because then when I take it out, it won't leave that kink. So the invisible bubbles are really good, they're like, it's like a spring. Okay, so now I've got this section. So it's kind of a weird parting going on. We've got it going sort of a little bit diagonally, but then it's going a lot closer to the face. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to need lots of elastics, okay? So just to make, let's see, I'm going to just pop them there on my laptop. Okay. And I'm just going to put a few on my little finger because when I put them on my little finger, I don't need to keep um, reaching for them and it just makes the whole process a lot quicker. Okay, so let's just put some more on. Okay, we'll see how many we need. I might need to pick up some more in a moment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some little connected ponytails and I'm going to try and keep them quite small. So I'm going to go straight back, take this slice, I'm going to comb it through and as I'm tying these, I want to make sure that they sit really close to the head. So I don't want to get any sort of lumps and bumps, I want them sitting nice and flat to the head. Okay, so I'm going to get this. Now, when I'm putting elastics in, I try and kind of keep the hair like away from the other hair. So can you see how I'm kind of trying to not let it touch all of this hair? Because when it touches the other hair, it picks up the other hair like a little uh, broom, you know, like a little sweeping brush. And then that's when you end up picking up all the little extra bits. So if you try and keep tying your elastic but try and keep the tails, if I spin it around you might see more, try and keep the tails away from the hair that's down, you're less likely to pick up any extra bits of hair, and then you'll have a nice clean elastic. So can you see that? That's nice and clean there. I haven't picked up any little loose bits. And then it's going to make it far easier for when you want to take it out, and it's going to be less damaging for the hair. And um, something else that I'm going to say is these elastics that I'm using, they are hair elastics. And when you use elastics that are specifically for the hair, they are so much better for the hair because they are sort of shiny and slippy almost. And because they're slippy, they do um, slide around on the hair a little bit easier and they don't tug. When you use the loom bands, they are more like rubber. And because they're like the rubber, they just get caught. So can you see how I'm kind of trying to keep that bit away and then sort of whipping it down, trying to keep it away from the rest of the hair? Here, I'm sort of holding that those ends because I'm sure lots of you have used these elastics before and you end up getting sort of lots of messy bits around by the elastic. But just be careful when you're tying them that you keep this tail away from sort of touching anything else. And so far we've got two very neat connected um, elastics now without um, picking up lots of little bits of hair. Okay, so I've done the bit that was sort of a triangular shape and now I'm coming down to where it's thinner. Oh, there we go, so just trying to get that through trying to keep it away from the rest of the hair. So, this style is, I'm going, like I said, I'm going to have it, have it as um, a down style, but you'll be able to make this into um, a ponytail style as well. You don't have to make these elastics go all the way around the head like I am. You can um, choose when to stop them. A bit like when you're doing a French braid or a Dutch braid, you kind of can get carried away and you can go all the way round, 
or you can just do the top part. You can play with the partings. You can do it however you want. But these little connected ponytails are going to give the illusion of an actual braid that's got the stitches where you've been adding more hair when you're where you're combining more hair to the um the plait and i know some people are still struggling with that and that's fine you know everybody learns at different pace at different times and some things are just tricky i think quite a lot of the time it's to do with how you're holding the hair but if you're used to holding the hair one way it's really hard to get you to hold the hair the other way and it's just a bit tricky, isn't it? But I know whenever I am teaching um, people how to do hair, the big, the one thing they always want to know is, oh, just how do you do a Dutch plait? How do you do a French plait? How do you do it? I just cannot do it. But if you can't do it, but your daughter still really wants that look, this is a great way to sort of cheat it. Now, look, I've just picked up some extra hair, so I'm just going to um, put that down and carefully continue to do these elastics. Okay, now can you see how I've kind of come away from the head a bit? I'm just going to pull on the bottom ones to make it sit closer to the head. I want it to sit closer. Now you can do as many of these elastics as you want. You can keep them, um, you can put them further apart. Obviously if you do further them apart, you don't need to use as many. And if you're not using as many, it's going to be much quicker. Okay. So it's up to you how many you do. But this is just going to give the illusion, oh, I'm just going to do that one again because I did it up here. I really need to be getting these elastics to sit lower in that section, because when they sit lower in the section, they sit closer to the head. There we go. I don't want to make like a ponytail. I want to make it all one continuous connection, like, like you can see I'm doing. Okay. Now the reason I kept this bit thinner, just here, I'm starting to pick up all little baby wispy bits, um, is because I don't want this ponytail to end up being too thick going around the back. Now, I know with my own daughter, her hair around the, her face is, she's got lots of wispy bits and it's thinner. So it wouldn't be so much of a problem. But because this mannequin has got such amazing hair, it's thick all the way around the edge. So you may have hair that's thick all the way around the edge. But if your hair's a lot thinner, you could probably, you'd get away with having this a lot um, thicker. It's up to you. You don't have to make it as thin. Everybody's hair's different. So obviously I'm just showing you the style and you can change it up to fit your daughter. Because quite often people say, oh, I can't get it to look like you or I didn't do it quite that way. But honestly, there's, there's no right or wrong way. I'm not um, trained. I am. This is just something that I do to my own daughter's hair. Well, I do my own daughter's hair. And I pick up these little bits and these little tricks. And, uh, you know, you just do whatever works for you. And when I show you these Saturday styles, it's really good because lots of people will say, oh, I kind of changed up a little bit. Like a Caroline this week, her Saturday style was slightly different. She did it more than a She just did one diagonal. And it was lovely. It was really, really cute. So, um, yeah, I just like you to be sort of able to inspire you and give you some ideas of what you can do. But then it's really lovely to see how you kind of challenge yourselves and change it up a little bit. Okay, so we're going around now, and I think really I don't need to worry about keeping these last few bits particularly um, small because we're not going to see these bits because they're going to be hidden underneath hair. Okay, so I'm going to tie this one off. I may even need to actually undo some of these. I'm not sure whether I'm going to reach this far. We'll see. We'll see. So, anyway. I've done this so far. I've got my little elastics all the way around the edge. So already, that would be a good style as it is because it's already like a little little headband braid. It's going to stay in really nicely. Stop the hair going in the face. It's really, really pretty. You could have it going down. You could have a centre parting, like Louise's one that I did a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks, yeah, maybe about a month ago now. She's got that headband style that goes from both sides and joins at the bottom. But I thought this might be just a nice one to just kind of go just from the side. Okay, so I know some people do it along live with me. So while I am, while they're ca maybe catching up, who knows? They may be, they may be exactly where I am. Let's just see what you're saying. So I love reading all your chatter. Um, so Stacy, yes for sure. Oh yeah. So I thought it was a tattoo or something. I know. Look, Rachel, it looks so dark, doesn't it? It gets, it's getting darker and darker every day. Every day, it's getting darker. 
Um, Dutch. My husband Kirk is watching with me. He is learning so much. Oh, well done, Kirk. So, you know what, Rachel? You'll be able to get Kirk to do the hair some days. You could have a morning off. That would be great, wouldn't it? Maybe Kirk. What What are Kirk's um, current sort of fave styles? What can Kirk do? Can he do anything? Can he, can he brush? Can he dry hair? I know my husband, he was always in charge of um, hair drying. I'd be busy, cause, because we've got three, it was a bit like a conveyor belt. I would, I would wash one while he was out drying one. Um, my husband calls all this sorcery. It is, it's a type of sort of um, magic, isn't it? Wendy, hi Wendy. I don't think I've seen you here before. Hello Wendy, very lovely to meet you. Is this your first time watching a live or just your first time commenting? I think people don't realise that they can't actually comment unless you've got an actual YouTube account. And then, I know my mum, my mum thought that to subscribe she had to pay to have a subscription. You don't have to have a subscription, you just have to, you just subscribe, don't you? But um, yeah, so Wendy, hello, nice to meet you. I love elastics, I can't do French or Dutch. Wendy, this is what you're gonna love. You will love this. You're gonna do it tomorrow. Your daughter will love it. Um, Caroline. Caroline has said, I still have to order new elastics. Yes, order new elastics. I hope you're not losing loom bands. Not on your daughter's gorgeous hair. Don't use loom bands, will you? Make sure you're using nice elastics. Wendy, my daughter has gymnastics competition next Sunday and normally they do double braids. Yeah, I know. I quite often have, because um, you know I'm a teacher. So quite often on a Friday they'll have a, a, I don't know, a dance competition or something and they're like, oh, can you just, can you just do these plaits? So that happens. Um, because yeah, they need they need their hair plaiting, don't they, for these um, competitions? Okay, so I've done these elastics all the way around the edge. Now I'm just going to take this invisible blouse and look how good that is. Can you see? I'm just taking it out, and you can't see the kink, or very, 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 very faintly. I'm going to just undo this twizzly bit that I had. I'm going to just put the hair back up again, and this is where the magic is going to be revealed. Okay, this is where you're going to be like, wow, that's such a good, good trick. Okay, so here is my section. Where's my comb gone? Oh, it's in my pocket. Okay, um, let's comb it so it's laying flat over. Okay, now already, look at this. Can you see when you do that? I bet you can, I bet you can see what I'm going to do. I am going to plait it, okay? But whilst I'm plaiting it, I'm going to stop every so often so I can pancake it slightly. Let's move over here. Okay, so I'm going to split my fingers, get my two fingers and split that down the centre. Okay, now I want to braid over these elastics. Okay, so I'm going to go regular braid, just a regular braid. Honestly, this is easy. We're going to go from the outside cross the centre, and then we're going to go from this side, cross the centre. Easy, easy, easy. You can do this, guys. Even Kirk. Kirk, you can do this. Okay. Outside, over the centre. Now we're going to go for this side, over the centre. Okay. Now we're going to go for this side, over the centre. And now we're going to go for this one, over the centre. Okay, I'm just going to do a couple of those stitches like this. Now, this is all very well. Okay, but that's going to be a bit of a balancing act, getting it to stay over the elastics. I mean, it's going to look like fine, it would look good. If you wanted it tight, this would be okay. But I think it would be so much better, personally, but, you know, everybody is different. If you just slightly pull on those edges. Can you see how I'm just, like, just teasing the edges? So I've got my thumb over that last stitch just to keep it in place. And I'm just pulling on these last stitches. The best thing to do is to do this as you go. Don't get to the very end and then start pulling on it because you're going to end up puckering all of the plait that you've done, okay? So I'm just pulling on those edges just gently. And can you see already, we're kind of getting this plait effect. No one will know. No one will know. Okay, this will be amazing. Your little girl will look gorgeous. She will love it. And while you're still practicing doing Dutch braids or French plaits, you can do this for the time being and you can get away with it. 
because it will look like a French plait. And because we've got all those elastics there, it's going to look like all the stitches. So I'm just going to pull on this edge a bit more. So I'm just crossing and then pulling. I find it easier at the top to do kind of about three or four, but then when I get to about here, I can then do one at a time. You kind of need to have a bit in place to sort of play with. Okay. So what are we thinking? Who's liking this already? So I'm thinking, Wendy, are you thinking this is going to be something you can do? Are you excited to give this a go? I've just seen, I've just spotted Caroline. I don't know if you know, but when I look at the screen, things pop up and they disappear really quickly. So until I look at my laptop, I can't see everything. But I just spotted Caroline say, clever. <laughs> yeah, it is clever, isn't it? Okay, oh, I just did a few more stitches than I wanted to then, but never mind. Here we go. So I'm just doing it gently. I'm not pulling too much. Okay, just gently. And you can make these as big as possible, dependent on the amount of hair that you've got there. That is why I took quite a deep um, section on this side. And then that's why I kind of did this diagonal to here, because I wanted it to look like it was all, you know, connected. I wanted to keep that illusion in place. So that is why, if you were thinking, well, these are really weird partings, what are you doing? I just think it looks like it sits neater and it just gives this really good illusion of a French plait. So there we go, I'm just teasing all my way. Now you can see now, so obviously all your little girls will have different types of hair. Some of you will have, like you may be growing out fringes um, at, or bangs for Rachel. I mean, Nicole, I don't know what you call them in Australia, do you call them fringes or bangs? But in the UK we call them fringes, I know in America it's bangs. Um, I'm not really sure where bangs come from because bang is like banging, isn't it? Um, whereas a fringe is like the fringe, you know, fringing in uh, like a haberdashery. You have fringing around like pelmets on your curtains and fringing all over the place. But um, yeah, so anyway, so everyone's got different lengths of hair up here. So you may get to the point where this little section, it might run out now and you're like, oh, I can't get it all the way around. Not a problem. You could now, from this point, you could just like tie it off there, couldn't you? And then you've got the little, little sort of side hair band, let the rest of it drop, okay? So if you've got hair and this little plait isn't going to go far enough, you know, don't worry at all. Work with what you've got and don't feel like, oh, you know, I can't make it that long. Your, your daughter's hair is so much longer than mine. It's so much thicker. It's absolutely fine. Everybody has got totally different hair and you're just going to work with what you've got. And whatever you do will look beautiful because it's on your daughter. So if your daughter's got shorter hair at the front, you're not going to be able to make this plait massively long. Absolutely fine. Just do a little half, you know, just do a little one that finishes there. And it will still look gorgeous. You know, if you've got little toddlers, well, they're bound to have shorter hair because they haven't had as long to grow it. So honestly, do not worry about that. Um, but also, I mean, I, I've done this as a side parting. If you did it as a centre parting, you're going to make it be able to go further and you could have a centre one going that way as well. So, you know, this is just a kind of a bit of a trick way of doing a French plait. Uh, but you can do what you like with this because I've already done it. I've shown people how to do this on your own, on your own hair. If you can't plait your own hair, you can just do connect, you can leave this top part out, do connected ponytails, down the back of your head, do this plait, pull on the edges, stick it over the top, you've got a Dutch plait and no one would ever know because you've got all the stitches. Okay, so those stitches come from the elastics that you've put in and, you know, it's just such a clever way to do it and you know it's going to last because you've got the elastics there. So even if you're still sort of coming to grip, getting to grips with doing the Dutch plait braids or the plaits or, you know, I know sometimes it's it's holding it, it it's, it's hard to hold it tightly, isn't it? By doing this, you've got that underneath and just popping this over the top and you've got a lovely French plait. Okay, so I have done as much as I need to do. It's going to go around there like this, okay? I have 
as it happens, got enough to get all the way around. So I'm just going to get an elastic, okay? And I'm going to just tie it off before I tie it to here because I can still make these plaits a bit bigger, okay? So I'm gonna make them slightly longer, not longer, wider. Um, obviously, when you pull them out wider, they do get thinner, so you don't have the sort of, ch it's not as chunky, but you still get that really pretty stitch effect. And you could keep it, you know, you don't have to do all this pulling, I'm just showing you that you could do it, you don't have to. So I'm just going to go back, just kind of fix them all up, because when you're, you, obviously I was just doing one hand at a time, they don't always come out symmetrically, so it, nice when you kind of use two hands just to come back and pull out the sections together like this here we go all right so the next thing we're going to need is some bobby pins okay so I mean I've got a real mixture of bobby pins here and because my daughter's got blonde hair and I've got brown hair they are all completely mixed up um I've got a pot here and whenever I, I mean, there's a, a mixture of styles in here because you know what it's like, you buy some and then you lose the most of them and then you buy more and then you lose most of them. So there's a real mixture. So I don't really have very many that match, but I'm sure that's probably the same as you. This was, I keep my um, bobby pins in, um, there's a company called Next in England and, uh, well, the UK. I don't know if, you, if they're anywhere else. And look, the my husband had some cufflinks come in these perfect perfect for my bobby pins that's where i keep them um they're just the perfect length and then i'll just go through now and try and find the ones that are sort of the blondest ones i mean maybe i should have been a bit more organized and picked all the blonde ones out before i start care before i came on but something you don't know about me i don't think you know about this about me um i am a little bit of a um plant mummy and i really really love growing um, house plants. So I have this afternoon been busy repotting my little babies. So I had I had lots of cuttings and they all need, all my little cuttings had sprouted and they, they were desperate for some soil. So I've been, I had to scrub and scrub and scrub. I mean, I don't think you can tell, can you? It took me a long time to really scrub my hands. And I, I, was, I was in the garden. I was like, oh, what's the time? And they're like, it's five o'clock. And I was like, oh my goodness. Quick, 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 quick. I've got completely carried away. Okay, so obviously this is just flopping all over the place now, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I hope you can see this, I want to put this, now if I just go like, you know, it's gonna look, it's gonna give, it's gonna give it all away, guys. We need to be keeping these secret, okay? You don't need to open this. You don't need to do that. Because look, there, where am I going? <laughs> There is an opening on it already, and that's plenty, because that is going to be the amount of hair that you want to get in there, okay? You don't need to do that. You put more hair in there, it's just going to go slide out. You leave it like this, you'll get the right amount of hair that this pin can handle, okay? Okay, right, let's just go back here. Now, I've just seen there's quite a few comments, and I don't think I've been um, catching up with them. So let me have a little look. So, um... Let's go back. So Rachel, he can actually manage a very basic braid, not school worthy exactly, have, but, but good for sleep. Oh, amazing! And I bet Kirk, if you put it in when the hair is damp, she gets lovely waves in the morning. So that's great. Um, Caroline says, "No, I just go through them so quickly, but also my cat likes to fish, fish them out of the pot and play them. I thought about to say and like eat them. Oh my goodness, I can't be very good for the cat." But well done for not using loom bands. Um, Wendy, oh yes, your first time live. I thought it was your first time. I don't even remember seeing your name. So hello, Wendy, whereabouts in Scotland are you from? My husband is desperate to take me to Scotland. Well, not take me, for us to go. We've got a caravan and I just think, oh, it's quite a long way to take the caravan all the way up there. But I would love to do the, um, oh, is it this, oh, Louise was saying, the something 500, is it the coast 500 or the something, oh, I don't know. Like, you know, the, 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 the thing, the, the coast, the north of Scotland. Um, okay, so Caroline thinks clever, yep, oh, 
Rachel, oh my goodness, I did not see that coming. It is like magic. That is what you said, it's like sorcery. Um, Nicole, looks good, but I'm finding pancaking harder than braiding. Oh, so the, with the pancaking, Nicole, if I just come over here onto this little bit of the ponytail, all right, the pancaking, honestly, it's not that tricky. The hardest thing is if you are doing, um, no, I've just seen Rachel. Rachel, I'm not calling you out at all. No, lovely, not at all. I just worry that, you know, I'm just trying to say, I feel like, you know, if you're gonna do hair, try and keep the hair really safe. And um, no, Rachel, definitely, definitely not. Definitely, definitely not. Okay, so these, although the, do you know what though, the good thing about loom bands is they come in such amazing colors. I can never find good hair elastics in the UK in such a variety of colours. I think in America, you've got so many different colours. Like, you've got Sally's in America, haven't you? And we've got a Sally's here, but they don't stop the same colours. And I'm just really disappointed about that. So anyway, Nicole, with the pancaking, we're going to go oh, cross over, then we're going to cross over, then we're going to cross over, then we're going to cross over. That's about enough for now. Hold your thumb there, but hold it fairly loosely. And then you're just sort of pulling on the edge like this. And you're almost kind of twisting your thumb you're not just pulling it, you're more, you know, like gently, gently. And you're kind of holding the hair loosely because the hair that you're getting from here is coming from your hand. So you need to sort of just do it very gently. But it's just one of those techniques, a bit like the front, the four, the, blah, 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 the four strand braid. I mean, that one wasn't very good there. It's kind of gone a bit holy. So it's just, you know, taking your time. Because once you can do this, you can do lovely, like, roses. If you just, I mean, you, can, you might want to try this, everybody. Or maybe I should save it for another live. If you, on a regular plait, just pancake one side all the way to the bottom, it will then make a beautiful rose. But anyway, that's for another day. So, yeah, honestly, Nicole, pancake is not too tricky. Ah, uh, so in Australia, they say fringe in Australia too. Wendy, I think... For her competition, she needs them to be tight. I'm sure you mentioned you have another video that looks like Dutch and French braids, so we'll have another go. Okay, brilliant, yeah. If you do, a, do you know what, a pull-through braid, that can look like a Dutch braid. Look for the pull-through braid. That's really, really, you can make that super duper tight because it's lots of elastics, but you're pulling the sections as you go um, after you've got the elastics in. Um, and then Caroline, oh gosh, I have a box that even has sections in it to keep them sorted yep all mixed together <laughs> oh gosh um i would love one of those all the different colors wendy loving your video oh wendy i'm so pleased you like it that's great your first time watching live and you love it so that's perfect i'm really pleased you like it um you need to come to the isle of man and sort out my sort of plants out well I, i'm only kind of new to this whole um being a plant mummy it all started in lockdown so i'm not i mean today i had to uh, download an app because i wasn't even sure what this plant was called that i had and i was like oh, i'm not really sure what it is it turns out it's a um uh can't remember now what it was called a magic plant magic plant mini mini plant jade jade plant i think it's called a jade plant it's got like really big juicy leaves um but i'm pretty sure i can take cuttings i can like propagate it i just think I need to take them off and lay them off. Anyway, that's another story. Uh, Lucy can't hear me. I can't hear what you are saying. Oh, Lucy. I don't know what you're listening to me on, Poppet, but sometimes you can't hear me. That's a shame. Maybe try turning off and coming on again. That might help. Um, Wendy, tea ready, but I'll keep playing. Oh, enjoy your tea, Wendy. Rachel, oh, Rachel, definitely not. Definitely not calling you out, darling. No way. Um, oh wait, not at all. Always good to bounce ideas. Yeah, definitely. My daughters love the hair flowers. Yeah, thanks. Thinks my daughter has it fine as it becomes very loose. Think, thanks. Think my daughter has it. Oh, it might. Well, do you know what? It might not be too fine if you've got these and you're kind of because what I'm going to show you next is with these pins, we are going to remember we're not going to open them up, we're just going to take it and we're going to try and get underneath a section. Can you see how I've kind of gone underneath? We don't want to be able to see this. So I'm just going to go underneath and then, oh, I've got a, I think I've picked up a twisty one. Why did they do that? I'm going to go underneath and then I'm just going to sort of slide it into these elastics, okay? Can't see it. Gone, okay? Just gone. And I'm going to bend my plait round slightly. 
I'm going to go underneath a stitch. Can you see I'm going underneath it? I'm not opening it up, just underneath it. And then, oops, I'm just, oh, I'm right on the elastic there, so I can't go there. Let's go on this side. Okay, there we go. And now that's coming out too far forward, so I just need to turn it around a bit. It's a little bit of trial and error because you just need to work out where you're going. There we go. But can you see how this is sitting now beautifully over the elastics? And it's holding it in place. So I'm going to come over here next. Go underneath a stitch. So I'm picking up from underneath it, sliding down. And they're going in, aren't they, without anybody seeing it. Okay, let's put your head up, lovely. Okay. Maybe, Nicole, if your daughter's hair is that bit thinner, then maybe what you're, you'd be best with just doing it as, a, as a, like a little, little top one. Don't worry about going all the way down to here. Maybe it would be a little bit too far for her hair. So I'm just going down. Oops, whoops, I'm dropping them all over the place now. Keeping going down, going underneath the stitches, sliding it into those connected ponytails. If you go diagonally, just pick it back up again and go back down if you don't want to see it. Okay, and now you can see it's all in place there. Okay, you can come back and sort of tweak with it and sort of move it where you want it to be. And now I'm just going to get one more elastic and tie that to there. Now, in a moment, I'm going to go through four ways to remove elastics, okay? Because this is a very elastic, heavy hairstyle. And I want you to make sure that you, you know, keep your little girl's hair nice and safe. So I'm going to show you four ways to keep your hair safe. So stay where you are for just a little bit longer while I just take out that invisible bubble and then just brush the hair down. Okay, down like this. And now we've got this really pretty plait. Looks like you have been super clever at learning how to do Dutch braids or French plaits, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Obviously, the more you pull this, the more you're hiding what you've got underneath. I can see an elastic there, so I'm just going to come back and just see if I can just move this plait over it slightly. Oh, no, that's making it go wonky. don't want to do that. Maybe I'll just lift it up. Try and lift it up slightly and get it into place. Here we go. Ooh. There we go. So that's hidden that elastic a bit better there now. I go, oh, oh no, did you see what I just did? <gasps> oh man, right. What am I gonna do now? Let's get, hang on a minute. Oh, I got my finger right in the way. Okay. I'm going to use this and I'm just going to see if I can save it. Oh gosh. Oh well, never mind. Here we go, let's see if I can just sort of, oh, not too bad. Not too bad, these little things are amazing. What would we do with them out of them, hey? There we go, I've managed to like tuck it back in again. Oh, let's save my bacon. Okay, right, so. Here we go. Now I think this would look really, really pretty if you plaited, plaited it, if you curled it. But you see from here, you could, how I said you could turn it into like a school. I keep seeing this, I think it's a tattoo. Um, you could, um, if you did it just a half, you could then have all the hair up and you could have it in like, you know, a plaited, plaited into a ponytail. Yeah? It would look really good, wouldn't it? it would, you know, so it doesn't matter if your hair is, if your daughter's hair is that much shorter. Also, if you can't plait your own hair, this would be a great little trick for you to do to yourselves. It'd be so much easier if you just do a load of connected ponytails and then put the plait over the top. No one would ever know. And they'd think, wow, what a genius. Okay, so I did say I was just going to show you um, some really good ways to remove your elastics. But before I do, I'm just going to check, see if anyone's asked me any questions or if anyone wants to know anything. So let's just see what I've missed. So Nicole, okay, Caroline. Ah, ha, uh, using elastics as an anchor as my wedding hair tutor would say. Oh, I didn't know you had a hair tutor, Caroline. 
Oh wow, are you training to do something with your hair? That's amazing. Yep, so using lashes as an anchor, excellent. You've always given me the great words. Paula, hello Paula, how are you? Been at work, just popped on. Oh, it's so lovely for you to pop on. Look, we've just done this sort of cheat, fake um, Dutch braid as a, like a hairband. But I was saying, you know, you could start it from here. You could start it from wherever you wanted to start it, really. I think, actually, I didn't do these enough. I can see now that these are not... It's because I'm not, I'm not used to working on someone so tall <laughs> because I'm doing it so you can see. Now I'm looking back. Oh, and look, you know what happens when you try and pancake after the event. It's not as good, but, yeah, I think that one needs to be a bit more... Oh, that looks a bit better now, doesn't it? We need to be pancaking that a little bit up there. I missed these ones on the top because she was so tall. Okay, um, I can completely recommend the tiny crimpers for thin hair. Yeah, or just like crimp the roots. That's really good. Hide it with a grip. Great, yeah, Rachel. Oh, I love it that you're helping each other out in the chat. Um, oh, you've saved this. Yes. Oh, do you know what? That's so lovely, Rachel. I read my name and I thought, oh, you spelt it wrong. Doesn't matter. Who cares? And then you even asked me. That was so lovely. Because I have to say, it was a bit of a pet bug of mine. My name has got an E on the end. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But, yeah, my name has an E on the end. So it doesn't look like my name if it hasn't got the E on the end. But thank you for asking. That's so lovely. Yeah, my name has an E. I think there's even a program called Anne with an E, isn't there? Um, Caroline thinks it's stunning. Well, thank you so much. Um, Caroline, e yes, thought I'd train as a wedding hairstylist. Oh my goodness, you're going to give me some tips, Caroline. That's amazing. Oh, Paula, I'm so pleased you like it. Well, you will be able to watch this back again shortly. And then you'll be able to see um, what we did to get this. Okay, so I was going to show you those things. So because this is so elastic heavy, guys, and I want you to make sure that you take care of your daughter's hair, because it's really important, and your own hair, if you're using them, okay? This is called a pony pick. If you haven't heard of it, Google it. This is a pony pick. This pony pick, can you see the silver part in there? I'm going to take my glasses off because they're annoying me. And I know um, that I need to get more lights in here because then I wouldn't get the glare, but I'm not sure. I'd, well, they're expensive. And I just like some more stuff to put in this small room. Um, but anyway, this is a pony pick and it's got like a blade just in there, but it's totally safe. And you can't, you, you just like, I cannot cut myself on it because I can't get to the blade because it's wider than the blade is. So it's totally safe. What you do is, you get the elastic that's in the hair and you just put it through there like this. It just cuts it really, 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 really easy, okay? So that's a pony pick. That's one thing that you can do. Now, the elastics that I had, it came with this pony pick and it even came with this teeny, mini mini pull through, which was so helpful for that little disaster that I, you know, had to fix myself from. Okay, before I even had ever heard of a pony pick, because, you know, let's face it, it's pretty niche, isn't it? Um, this was what I was using. So this will be, if you've got a sewing box or a sewing machine, this is a stitch and picker. Now, my stitch, it did have like a little red blobby bit there to stop that from being like sharp. Um, but it's like the pony pick, but obviously it's it doesn't really have the safety measures like the pony pick does because it's not designed for hair. But it does work for hair because it does the same job as it would if it was um, picking a hem. You just get it like, oh, let's see, can you see that? You just go like that. Boop. Find that one later. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that works really, really well. This here is lemon oil. It's pure lemon oil. I don't know where the best place is to put that so you can see because it keeps sort of, I think it's my face in there. It, can't, it doesn't want to zoom in or like focus. So it's pure, 100% pure essential oil. It's lemon citrus. And it does smell really, really lovely. It smells really nice. Okay, so because it's the oil, I don't know if I'm going to be able to demonstrate this so well on a hair lasso that isn't... It's a good job I've got a big pot of those, isn't it? Because I'm just going through these like nobody's business. So this elastic here, if I just put my finger on like that, and I've got like the... You can see the shininess there, can't you? And then if I just go in here... Pings! There you go, Kirk. More magic for you. So, um, yeah. Lots of lovely things to do. And then the other thing that you can do, but I think is a bit of a pain, because, you know, you gotta plug it in to seduce it, is to use like a hair wand. Because, you know, you heat it up, and you put the hair wand on it, and they just sort of, boom, 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 they just go. But then you're also putting the heat quite close to the hair as well, so, you know. But there's four ways there, guys, to get your elastics out of the hair, keep the hair safe, keep it looking okay, um, and taking care 
of um, your daughter's hair because you know you're putting them in but also like I said at the beginning of the video how you put them in is also you know you can put them in quite carefully as well okay so I think Caroline I need one of those I use a stitch and picker and regularly prick my finger I hope you don't fall asleep like 100 years like uh, Sleeping Beauty um yeah so a pony pick they've got an Instagram page this isn't an official pony pick this is just like one that came in my elastics. But if you Google them or look on Amazon, you can find Pony Pick. I don't know whether it's only Pony Pick that sell them, but that that came with my elastics, okay? So are you laughing at my uh, Aurora? <laughs> you don't want to turn into Aurora, Princess Aurora. She's my daughter. Well, she, I don't know, she's 10 now. She always was my daughter's favourite, Princess Aurora. Um, yeah, so there you go. So here is the um, style nice little headband style. I mean, it's only from the side, but like I said, you could always do it as two. If your hair is long enough, if your daughter's hair will allow it, you can always go from this ear, go all the way over, make it into a proper headband. But um, yeah, the options are, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. It's just this trick of getting these sort of stitches and making it look like you've done a French plait. And that's really, really safe now. It's not going to come all, it's not going to be all sliding out. And you know, you do just like have it here and then put it underneath this hair always kind of ends up coming underneath it doesn't it it always ends up messy so you kind of want to keep it nice and tight all the way around to the back of the neck okay so i don't know 100 years sounds blissful <laughs> to sleep for 100 years oh my goodness i'm sure you would get bored you definitely would get bored and you'd run out of things to dream about wouldn't you okay so um i hope you've enjoyed today if you have it'd be lovely if you just gave it a little thumbs up and then more people will see it and then our lovely hair community can just grow and we can get lots more lovely people talking and chatting in the um the chat so that'd be really really lovely so i hope you really like it i look forward to seeing your recreation so like i said i've got the facebook group if you go in the description box you will find a link to that facebook page facebook group rather i also have a facebook page i have an instagram account and you can find all of that in the description as well and then you can see because i post little reels regularly i post tutorials on here every tuesday you're welcome caroline you're welcome rachel not our problem and um yeah I'm so pleased you all enjoyed it. So yeah, if you just give me a little like, that'd be lovely. Um, we'll watch back. Oh, great, Paula, yeah. Have a little watch back and then you can see what we did. But you can kind of play around with this. You can do it however you want. This is just one way to use this sort of trick. Thanks, Anne. I'm off to bed. I'm not surprised. What time is it there now? About like half past one in the morning. So yeah, have a lovely, lovely sleep because you know that you've still got to wake up in the morning. You're not going to get to have a nice lion, are you? Still need to get up and get on. <laughs> okay, take care, everybody. I will see you all soon. I'm doing it again. I'm turning off my laptop. I don't know why. Oh, my gosh, 2.52. Oh, it's nearly 3 o'clock in the morning. You're going to be waking up in a few hours. Okay, Nicole, it has been a pleasure. It's been so lovely for you to be here with us. That's so nice. I love it when you come along. Um away from Australia. I think it's amazing. Isn't the internet amazing? Love it. Um, my little one's been off with a little break in her ankle. Oh, the puppet. Has she? Has she got a cast? Is she on, is she on crutches? A broken ankle. Oh my gosh. How old is she, Paula? Like, is she coping with the lack of mobility? Is she coping with the crutches? Oh my gosh, and you know, and it's gone back to being, I don't know where you are, Paula, are you UK? It's gone back to being hot here again, hasn't it? So wearing a cast with the heat, it's not fun. I have to get some knitting needles out and like give it a bit of a scratch, give it an itch. Anyway, I hope she recovers quickly. Do her hair nicely, I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. Always, It always makes you feel better, doesn't it? It's school holidays here now, so kids stay up later and we'll sleep in. Ah, oh, it's always nice when they do that, isn't it? It takes them a good few days to kind of get to sleep but then you've got to kind of get them back into a school routine come well we'll come back we come back in september so um oh you've got a holiday how lovely um she's got a boot on and she's seven. Oh, pop it well i hope this is a message for you then um paula davis's daughter i hope you recover very very quickly and i hope that um however you heard it was by doing something fun like dancing or you know skipping something fun um i'm in the uk wrong one and thanks you are welcome well it has been hot and sunny so at least you've had the sunshine and i hope you're not in for too long lovely okay take care everybody i'll see you soon bye